I'm Mildred Sifa Chome. I'm from Kenya. I decided to major in mechanical because mechanical deals with machines and engineering as an engineer you have to you have the ability to like to solve problems that are not being solved. So this apart from all other all other engineering, I saw mechanical engineering as the central of all engineering because you tend to like do what a chemical engineer can do, what an electrical engineer can do, what a civil can do. So it's like we are the central engineers. So that's what that's what made me because I wanted to be an engineer but I wanted to do something that touches all aspects of engineering, not just we have four kids. So I have an elder brother and two smaller sisters, but you I live with also like my cousin. We made up with my mother and father and we also live with my grandpa with my grandmother. I'm so passionate about music and it comes I think from home. Every single time like you always make I always see my grandmother, she has to be singing a song or she tries to dance even though she's so old. <laughs> Yeah, and my dad loves music. I think with that part, that's what that's, that's what made me love music. I'm in a choir, University Gospel Choir, and I'm uh, I'm joining the it's APF, the band. When I think of the King Mopi Scholar, these two families ha are giving back. They're giving back to the community. They may have gotten that back through education or other sectors, but they're giving it back to somebody like me. So I think that's, that's being a Kimogi scholar tells me that I have to give back. It's to whom much is given, much is expected. So like being a Kimogi scholar, I, I, I know that much is expected from me as a person. We are with a group, like the Zawadi, the Zawadi girls, we are three of us from Kilifi. So there's, there's a day we just sat and discussed like what can we do for the people of Kilifi because Kilifi is one of the cities, let's say cities in Kenya that there's a high birth rate for underage girls. Mm -hmm. Some people like lose hope in the sense that why should they go to school and they don't get a job? And it's because of there was a lot of tribalism in Kenya. So you don't you can't get a job if it's somebody from another tribe. So there's all those misconceptions. But at the same time they say if you have the proper education, if you have the proper qualifications, who will deny your job? Nobody is there to push you, nobody is there to you have to be focused and being focused and trying to do what is right to your conscience is what will help you as you progress in this university and also know like know your goals, know what you want to achieve in life and try as much as possible to align yourself with people who will help you and people who will guide you in the right way.